we are back at it again. Digital Dope, J O, A P Louis, and we got it's your boy Lyric Scape. Yes, sir. All right, we gonna kick it off. We gonna jump straight into it, just like all the other times. All right, Louis, where you from, man? Uh, I was born, actually, I wasn't even born in Indiana, so a lot of people don't know about me. Uh, I was born in, in Sioux City, Iowa. Shit, my mom probably moved me out here when I was maybe four or five. Well, she moved me out to Muncie. We lived in Muncie in the housing projects for years. And then uh, I just found a long line of trouble up there. So I, done, I moved okay. to uh, Indianapolis when I was 12. But I mean, I say I'm from the city. Like, this is, you know what I mean? It ain't, yeah, you been where you from, yeah, it's where you at. Four, you know yeah, I mean? since so, you was four, yeah, yeah, I you know understand I mean? that. I'm most yeah. definitely a Naptown native. That's, that's what I, that's what you I identify. You go to school around here and stuff like that? Nah, um, I went to, I actually, I attended Stony Brook Middle School, and um, I went to Warren Central High School, and I actually graduated high school. For real, you playing any sports there? That's what's up, yeah, most I, niggas don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah graduation hey, is definitely the key, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, gra education. graduation is challenging, but yeah, I'm telling you, like, it's a jacket day. All you niggas want to wear, man. I don't care. Yeah. Like, say, it's like, winter out here. That's you got to put on that jacket. On yeah. and then, like, I, don't, I don't care if you in the streets or not. Nigga, I was in the streets throughout my whole high school career, bro. And okay. I still graduated. But, uh, yeah, I played sports. I played football. Actually, uh, played all four years in high school. I never started. Well, you feel me? Yeah, no, I yeah. didn't, bro. I, yeah, I was a red shirt all star, basically. Okay, okay. Like, like a, a practice team all star. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That. that was kind of like all time. I went to my high school, I was on a football team, that was kind of like me, yeah. Yeah, bro, on everything. That's what's up. They would never let me start, but. I was never two of my little ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling you. Yeah. So. I feel you on I that. I used to wrestle, though. Well, uh, <laughs> what type of music you like listening to? What, what put you in your vibe? Oh, I mean, dog, I got a category. I like blues, yeah. I like R&B, I like jazz. Okay, blues, yeah, my um, grandfather used to listen to blues. I prefer hip-hop over rap. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of people don't I even see, know there's this. Really explain yeah. explain right. that difference, but right. people don't know that difference. So rap is pretty much what y'all been seeing on the internet, like how Dre said uh, a lot of the artists nowadays are uh, quantity over quality. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's rap to me. You yeah, yeah. Hip-hop is like the actual like storytelling, like when you visualize yeah. what an artist is actually saying in their song, it's like they're almost, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, like that's that's like, just the who would you? So the simplest, two people, you know two mean? people in the industry now that's out now. Well, would you one hip hop and one rap categorize each one? Like just to get two people from each one. Hip hop wise, hip hop wise. My like, ears, example. example my my ears. Be, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm a I'm, I'm a Kendrick fan to the core, but my ears prefer Cole. Okay. So, yeah. would you put Kendrick at hip hop or rap? Hip hop. Hip hop. Because okay. this is a thing. This is a thing. It's a difference between being an artist and being a rapper. You feel me? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you can't label Cole or Kendrick to just rap. They're mm -hmm. not just rappers. You Come feel on. Me? So they're they're hip. They're hip hop artists. Yeah. yeah. You artists. can't even they're say they're. You can't even say yeah, hip hop. Yeah. You can't describe nobody as a hip hop. You yeah. gotta say artist after hip hop. Okay. Going on. Going on that. Going on that who's who's your favorite artist? Right favorite, now, favorite artist, J. right Cole, now, man. as of right now, Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole, 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 okay, Cole, Cole, right there. okay, okay, <laughs> I'm a dream right. yeah, the the right there. like, okay, if it came down to it, I had to sign my name on that little sheet of paper, Cole, J. Cole, Cole. Running out the gate, out the gate, we'll be, we'll be yo, we'll be your price, and your stip, one stipulation, you get one say so, and your price, I'll probably do a meal for two, okay, two years. For two years? Yeah. That's good. I mean, that's a lot that's to go good. to a nigga like me. Yeah. A lot of people might be like, nah, that's really too much because you ain't woo. You don't think you but would be undercutting yourself at the same time? What if you I mean, yeah. You I mean, your best very shit? much well. I know I'm undercutting myself. But I, this is the thing, though. When you're a businessman, you're a partner, I look at what I got now. I'm not, I'm not generating a six-figure income, you feel yeah. me, right now. Yeah. I'm not nowhere near making a half a million dollars a year. Even if I got to give 100000 of that back in taxes, Mm -hmm. I'm not nowhere near making four hundred thousand a year, mm -hmm. and I'm responsible. I, I have investment ideas. I already have business plans laid out. Yeah. I actually own That's the Creative Minds like brand. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like I'm already digging off into the LOCs and shit. You know what I mean? So okay, okay. So family wise, yeah, you got a, you got a son. That's what's up. How, how's being a dad? How's how's that like? <sighs> It's a lot. <laughs> it's, like, it's a lot. I understand. I it's swear to God, lot. like, man. It's fun. It's right, fun. So I dropped my first one when I was 17. And then, like, 
pretty much all my kids are a year apart. Mm. I got three a year apart from okay. the first one, and then I got a three year old. Okay. Mm. You feel me? So, like, being a dad, man, I don't give a fuck. Like, a lot of people say, you young, you got a lot of kids. How old are you? I'm 26. I'll be 27 August of this year. Okay. Um, I'm 26, bro, 26 years of age. And it's like, being a father, bro, that's the best thing that ever happened to me in yeah. life. Like, that saved my it's life. It's a good, personal, genuine feeling. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, it's like, there. I always tell people, like, you will never know love until you have kids. You know what I'm saying? Say that again. Say that, one more, say that how, one more time for them. You'll never know unconditional love until you have kids. Like, mm -hmm. I don't care who you've been with for how long, none of that. When you have a kid and you see the way your kid loves you, you will never accept nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. one of the reasons why, like, I've always been the type of people, person I'm not to try to get close to people. It's not nothing against anybody. It's just... I've experienced real genuine love. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. it's like, if I can't have it like that, like these little yeah, motherfuckers give me to me, I don't want you. Like, you don't need okay. to be around me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything music-wise that you've been working on lately that you've been really trying to focus on or something? Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Actually, I, I took a break from music. Like, I just recorded my first, I just laid first verses. Why, why did you verses. take a break? Because it's a lot of people fail to realize. Me, I have plans on being independent. I, mm -hmm. I have plans on standing okay. on my own. I have plans on owning 100% of my category. And if I do give a, a percentage of my category out, it won't be no more than 5 to 10%. You feel mm -hmm. me? So okay. very much well as of in a uh, Nipsey approach or or even like, um, let me see, Rick Ross with uh, okay. Maybach. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. he, he, he stands on it. He owns that brand name. So you know what so I mean? So are you working with it's, other people? Yeah, all yeah, all day, okay. all day, and it's like, yeah, um, that's I, that's I got a crazy team really right now, cool. and it's just the reason why a lot of ain't been moving is, of course, like I'm the CEO of the movement, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, yeah, I kind of took that break yeah, yeah, to get my bread right. right. Yeah. You know, it, it take it take money to make music. When you um, you say you quit music, when you started back doing music, what motivated you to start back doing music, and like, what makes you fall yeah, off? What, you, what, what, you, what made you fall uh, off? Period? Just start. I mean, back. I didn't necessarily quit. I took a break. Going, I, I, I was putting a lot of money into studio time. I was putting a lot of time into studio yeah, time. Yeah, so like, yeah. I wasn't around my family like that, dog. Like, I ain't selling to my kids like that. Like, yeah. you know, what I mean? and then like when I'm looking back, I had to weigh out my profits in my pockets. They mm. weren't matching it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to <laughs> hold up and I had to step away from music for a while just to. Mm. Re, re get regain my composure yeah, yeah, as far yeah, as the really financials. What I gotta you know what I'm really saying? Figure out you know, yeah, for real. On. Yeah, I okay, I understand that. That's what's up. Yeah. So is there? What, what's the last? What's the last thing that you dropped? Uh, actually, last night, man. Really? Uh, is I dropped. Out, I, is it, is I, it I, out right no, now? No, it's not out. No, oh, I, uh, okay, I, I, okay. I went and did two feature verses from a, a very, very. I don't even call him a friend. He's like family now. A good brother of mine, Krishan Music. Krishan, yeah, I remember you mentioned him. Yeah, 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 yeah hey, Krishan, Krishan Music, man. Y'all can find him on Instagram. Y'all can find him on Spotify, iTunes. Mm -hmm. He's everywhere. He's got. He's got a project out right now. He'll be dropping another project soon. Oh, he's about to be. So he's got a hip hop project. Where out. he based? How do you spell it? He's he's here in the city now, but he's from Cleveland. Yeah. How do you spell it out? So you spell it Krishan Music. K R I S H A W N dot music. Right. He'll pop right up, man. You'll see, man. He got the look. Like, when he smiles, you'll see it. You'll <laughs> no, notice him, man. He's just okay, not an ordinary dude. Like, okay, he ain't the cat that you'll just look at and be like, I don't know if it's him. That's exactly who it is. Like hey, I said, shout, out, shout out, bro. Shit. He out here promoting you. Yeah, All right, he got you on for sure, for sure, All right, man. so now as an artist, do you feel that it's essential for you as making music and letting people hear it to actually have meaning? Or because I know I know you. I've heard a couple of songs. Even I've heard even a couple of your freestyles. They're very they're thought out. They're yeah. uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying Tupac because you you do speak on a lot of things, but you you speak on those type of things he did. Yeah. Like he did talk about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you speak on the troubles and the things that's going on, and you speak mm -hmm. on actual knowledge or facts instead of. I did this, this, and this, and never even experienced. That. I mean, oh uh, yeah. shit! The, the way I just see writing my music, like a lot of people always ask me, how do I write, and what do I think about when I come up with like my material? But like, I'm a type of person like 
I've lived a lot of life to be my age. I've experienced a lot of pain. I've experienced a lot of losses and gains. So it's like, why would I take away from who I am to try to be whoever these people want me? I'm good enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I would never sell. Like I said, anyway, like piggyback to when he said, um, do you feel like you're selling yourself short only doing a meal for two years? Like, fuck yeah, you know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's yeah. That's shit. But like yeah, I said, yeah. I'm a logical thinker. I'm a businessman. So, mm-hmm. yes, I, I, I'm willing to take you know what I mean? A little loss for a short amount of time, and if that's gonna create big gains in between time, it's mm-hmm. not about the money with me. Not, not, especially not when it's about getting my foot first in the door. Just like Most with definitely. the with the music, it's not about creating a fucking vision for y'all. This is the way I think. Like this is my therapy. You know what I mean? Before I go pay a therapist, I will pay my engineer fifty dollars an hour mm-hmm. and talk to the mic. You know what I mean? And then it's like it's it's, it's therapeutic because. Not only in the sense that, like, when I feel like y'all listening, y'all understand it, yeah. you feel me? But I can actually go play these tracks back to myself, mm-hmm. and, it, and it ain't making me crazy because I'm actually talking back to myself, yeah, you feel me? it's kind of so, a flashback in a exactly, way. Exactly, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So, and yeah. it's like, I understand me more than anybody, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You your own you your own best friend, your own worst enemy. Mm-hmm. And if you can't sit back and evaluate yourself mm-hmm. and grade yourself, mm-hmm. you know that's you ain't where, no good to yourself. You gotta, yeah, that's yeah. where come and find yourself. Yeah. Right? <coughs> you're yeah. find yourself, you're not going to find yourself Damn. in music either. Damn. Like, Damn. you're not going to be at your full position. We got some a question from the studio audience. Um, you feel like you can handle the fame? The fame? The fame. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I'm the type of person, like, I've always been the type of dude, like, a lot of people always don't know. A lot of people always embrace who I was and shit, but like I've never let that get to who I am personally as a man. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to fame, like honestly, if I can do music, minus the, like I will bullshit you not. If one of you niggas wanna pay me to ghostwrite for y'all ass, no, y'all gonna drop them bands. I would yeah. much rather do it that way. Y'all listen. Fuck the fame, dog. I don't care. I don't. Ghostwriter. Just y'all before listen. we fire y'all the camera, a ghost writer, I don't right like being on camera, dog. Like I don't, I don't care about people seeing me or knowing who I am or what I got going on. Like I want to be that. Or I already know if I was to make it to the fame level, class A celebrity, B list, uh, A list celebrity status, mm-hmm. bro. I would, I would be the like J and B, bro. Yeah. I would be like Whoa. the nigga Cole. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all don't see me at every event. Right. I'm not performing in clubs anymore. I I'm not. Pop, I'm not doing pop ups like that. So you know what I mean? On, going on that. What is? What are some future things that you're you, you're gonna be working on? What are some ideas for the future? If, you, if I was like, we're gonna put three things in motion right now. What would be three that you would have? And what, what future what are you three? saying? But I'm saying like future wise, <coughs> like this year. Oh uh, no, I mean well, we're 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 year. span it out to ten years. I want to know what we're gonna see this year. Yeah, this year? yeah, right. Yeah, year, what are we gonna? gonna what do y'all think own. that we're gonna come and what do y'all think that we're gonna see all of this year? My music speaks for itself, obviously, and I ain't, I hate like listen, and I always tell you this. Yeah. I, every time I speak on myself as an artist, yeah. I always say I hate speaking yeah. on myself as an artist. Cause I don't want to seem like that. Just ugh, yeah, like, yeah. but when I get in the booth, bro, and I'm in there by myself. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's how I feel. Like I'm that nigga, bro, and I feel yeah. like nothing around me. There's nothing outside in this atmosphere or outside that can fuck with who I am. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So Where's like, that feeling come from? Where's that? What's just? What's, I guess what's, just, what's, what's that back up? Me like, being a, a a black male from the hood yeah, is tired. No, you know what I mean? No, I'm tired that I've been through. You know what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. sick of this shit. Nigga, I don't wake up every day, nigga, and look mm-hmm. at you. look look, nigga. Even some of you niggas in this room right now, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to wake up every day and look at you, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a video call. I'm trying to be in Florida somewhere. Video calling for you, real. you in New York. You know what I'm saying? Or video calling yeah. you, you yeah, overseas. That's real, real. Like that's where our vision shit. You know what I mean? So All like, right. that's one. That's, okay, that's at, one. Oh. I got. I'm gonna throw in. I'm gonna throw in a loop to the second one. If you could work with one artist, and whether it's local or famous, who would, who would it be? I'm making the G. You said who? I would rather. I would prefer to. Um, I would prefer. Bushing and and I might sound crazy to a lot of people right now for saying it, but I would choose to work with a couple. Of, the good local artist before I pick a famous artist to work with. Why is because that? I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, like that. Why, is, it, yeah, why is that? I like that. I like first that. of all, it's, it's me as a man. Nigga. I don't I don't need, like, 
a nigga that's already up there to co-sign me. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to put in that work. I want to go that extra mile. I want to work hard for what I'm giving you. You know what I'm saying? For mm-hmm. what I'm working towards. So like, you like the grind, the hustle. You, you feel like, me? You so like why not connect I... with some niggas that's already on the rise in the city that's popping? Mm-hmm. You feel me? And yeah. link with them and yeah. do it. Okay. And, and still be able to gain gain that hard work 